continuing reading. In 1979 to 1980, Ogden Juvenile Court System volunteers utilized holodynamic principles in the rehabilitation of its problem youth program. Results recidivism? Recidivism? I don't understand that word. Recidivism decreased 98% among participants. In spite of these remarkable results, when the volunteer trainer transferred, the program was not resumed. <laughs> they always seem to start off, have success, and then when they have success, it's shut down. And my guess is, is that they're not dealing with the, the micro yet. They have, Dr. Wolf hasn't discovered the micro um, aspect of what needs to be changed. And basically what it is, is you need to change self, which I really question whether Dr. Wolf has looked at himself yet. Because I do see a lot of contradictions in his work. And I can't see why he wrote this and didn't see this himself. Um, but that's sort of the same thing I'm doing is I'm trying to find my own contradictions. And, you know, because if I can see it in him, that means I've got it as well. So no matter how much you know this shit, it's like um, good friends are your best doctors, <laughs> you know, like, um, mind you, this water concept, this uh, intentions water really, really helps keep you in check because as soon as you make a complaint, that's the unknown problem. The unknown problem, this is the tool to fix it. So it's like all of these things that Dr. Wolf started and had a failure, did he not see the failure as a complaint. Did he not complain about, well, they shut me down. <laughs> Every time he has success, he gets shut down. Does he not complain or make an excuse about why things get shut down? Because if he noticed that, then what he is complaining about, he thinks it's the universal world that is doing it, but it's all holographic. It's his perception of it's everybody else, but he's not seeing that it's in him. If you make a complaint, if you make an excuse, that is the unknown problem that you need to track and and resolve. So that's where the this bottled water concept uh, definitely would transform your own personal life because it helps you focus on on, on a positive, full potential you but as well helps you recognize your own unknown problem <laughs> so you can transform it. With the, I mean, that is our, our biggest problem that we've been making all along is focus on the good, focus on the good. Wayne Dyer, focus on the good, gets cancer. There's a cause to cancer. But Wayne Dyer will never ever see the cause of his cancer because he doesn't recognize his own unknown problem, which is, He's been in an interview that says as soon as your brain goes off into a negative direction, that's when you're supposed to go, oops, there goes my brain again. Your brain is a perfect system. It goes down that negative path for a reason, because there's an unknown problem there that needs to be transformed. But as long as you're going to keep shutting your brain off from never looking at the problem, don't ever transform everything that's wrong. Just focus on everything that's good. You will get cancer. Anyways, just a... Uh, little bit of a observation there. From 1980 to 1990, expansion of holodynamic seminars. Holodynamic seminars spread into 20 states and 5 co countries. Groups of people began to help each other transform their holodynes and fulfill their potentials. Results, tens of thousands of people reported extraordinary results such as the healing of cancer, AIDS, hepatitis, diseases of all sorts. Educational programs were enriched and remarkable changes from micro to macro began to occur throughout American society. That's 20 years ago. If that really did happen, how come I haven't heard about it? You have no idea the level of research to find these books. These books were not in bookstores. 
you, I really had to do an awful lot of work to find this research out and find this information. And I happen to believe in it 100%. I cannot find a flaw with the technique. I just find that this guy contradicts his own work. Um, and it's almost like my brain is stuck on I can see a contradiction instantly. It's like I can see a lie instantly. And it's not like this stuff doesn't work. It does work. Um, in these seminars, for example, what was he teaching? Because when I had a conversation with Dr. Wolf, he tried manipulating me to have his belief system. And yet that went against what he teaches, that a tracker needs to have a tracker to make sure that one is not influencing the other. <laughs> so. That's why I don't recommend taking any of his courses. I, I would read the books. I have the books of all of his courses. I'm going to read them all. But um, I think he is a little messed up. <laughs> and if you get in person with him in these seminars, yes, you may heal your own individual problems, but it, we should have unfolded it. It should have reached the macro stage where we all know about this stuff. Something along the way is wrong. Uh, you know, like 20 years? Come on, we should have known his books. We should have known something if this was increasing. There's a flaw someplace along the line, which is why I say that uh, um, This will bring major change, but everybody's got to know it. And charging huge prices to send people information is the problem. It is that corporate structure, and Dr. Wolf is definitely involved in that corporate structure that is the cause of all problems, and he's playing that game, which is why I'm reading this book out free, because a lot of people that really, really need it can't afford it. <sighs> so, but anyways. Uh, 1984, Las Vegas Juvenile Courts, the Las Vegas Juvenile Court System housed more than 20,000 young people per year who are forcibly confined, classified, and shuffled from group to group. Holodynamic program was initiated by volunteers. More than 90 counselors were trained in holodynamics and hundreds of students were involved in learning the principles and processes. The result received Divism, a new word I don't know, decreased by 95% among participants. Embedded resistance uh, among counselors created blockage to volunteer participation. Polarization occurred among them and the program was discontinued. <laughs> Again, it works, but as soon as it works, it discontinues, which means he hasn't hit the micro himself. He is the epicenter of all of these failures, but he doesn't see it yet. 1985, Los Angeles school gangs and at-risk students. More than 300 young people who had dropped out of the public school system, mostly lived among gangs on the streets, were enrolled in a summer program um, in holodynamics. Results, within six weeks, the original participants recruited 300 more gang members. Among the 600 participants, 100% were able to regain and maintain academic standing. One of the teachers wrote her dissertation on the experience and returned to regular education curriculum. There's a positive outcome. 1986 to 1992, corporate America. <laughs> Toyota. I got lots to say about Toyota. General Motors, Bank of America, Boeing Aircraft, and other businesses Holodynamic training programs were deducted with, conducted within corporations. Results. Trainers adapted internal programs in each com company based upon the principles of holodynamics. Positive results were reported. Bank of America trainers organized their own private training program based upon holodynamic principles. Boeing trainers were doing were still doing um, holodynamic training seven years later and reported critical organizational changes as a result. <laughs> okay, 19 or 1986 to 1982. 
these big corporations were using holodynamics to improve their profit. They did not know their own unknown problem. They were not tied to the society that they earned their profits from. So, I mean, Toyota, they, they almost like their selling technique is, you know, obviously telling people what they want to hear so that they can sell you their friggin' bullshit cars. And I mean, I I work for Toyota, Toyota. Every single thing that they sell you, that it's a people company, and that you know they pay their people well, it's all bullshit. I've seen sexual harassment. I I was selling cars for Toyota, and they were the most unscrupulous group of people. They say that their prices are all up front. Bullshit. And they were playing the exact same game any other dealership was doing. But they just told you that they weren't doing it. So it's uh, like I say, this stuff is really good information if taught right. If if you make the connections to your global community, which the corporate world clearly didn't, they just focused on how we can make more profit. And you know, if my problem is profit. How do I make more profit using a tool that can solve that problem? So yeah, the tool worked perfectly. A bunch of CEOs got filthy rich. <laughs> and it's, it's causing the global collapse that we see now. You can probably blame this tool on the collapse if it was so involved from such, you know, 1992. <laughs> um, so it's... Uh, like I say, there are contradictions, but the work is perfect. It just cannot identify the unknown problem. But once you identify the unknown problem, then this tool jumps into play. So it's like this information is cool, but I would use the water concept to go along with it. It's a perfect marriage, but this doctor, Although agrees with it, that's his first statement. Is like, oh, with it live water, it would work perfectly. And then he stopped saying that it's a good idea. It, like he, he just shut right down uh, as if to block what he just finished saying would be a good idea. Um, really, really weird vibe I got from him about that concept, which would solve all of his problems because it would help him recognize his own unknown problem and he can integrate it into what it is he teaches. Anyways, um, 1989 to 1997 in Russia, holodynamic principles and processes were used in negotiations concerning the transformation from communism to free enterprise government. Result, 14 different ministries of the, the former Soviet Union were involved including the military leadership. A public training program called Holodynamics was initiated. Hundreds of programs arose. International conferences on Holodynamics were started. Dr. Wolf was chosen as one of the ten Americans for the success of Perstata Stok Stroka, Perstaka, I can't say that word, and helped in negotiations regarding a new demilitarized process and the program for overcoming the seven areas of alienation of communism. Holodynamics was introduced to the Association of Astronauts for Mankind in which Dr. Wolf became a member of the board of directors. In like manner, he was introduced to the Acad Acad Academy of, of Natural Science where Holodynamics was granted full status as an academy. I don't know why I can't say academy and yet I can say academy. This was the only academy of science in Russia to be awarded to the former Dr. Wolf was awarded a full prof professorship of law and economics in Ir Irkutsk and awarded the a a Academy of Natural Sciences top award for outstanding contribution to science and society. In 1996, and joined the special agency and other government and private companies to create a worldwide communication system. 
um, ASTAR Industry Limited, an organization that produces consistent and extraordinary results at every level of society. It is now involved in establishing a global wellness program. I haven't really heard of that, have you? Um, I'll continue on another time.